Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show of life. We have ended almost a five month and coming into the first week of June. And it has been a really great year, both for the US market and for the Malaysian market. And I do hope for those of you who has been following me for some time, has also benefited from some of the stocks discussion that we talk about. And also last week, we did talk about, oh, this Wednesday, we did talk about the utility sector. Take a look at those in here. And I want to further report to you what's really been happening to our market and how you can capitalize on this manner as we go forward from here onwards. So let's take a look at what we have for you this morning. So this morning in here for VSA 360, thank you for coming again and do share this video in your timeline so that more people can also benefit from in here. So let's go on and see uh, what we have in store for you right now. So again, a uh, little bit of uh, uh, promotion in here. Uh, we Trade VSA will be opening up a boot on the Invest Fair 2024 at the Kuala Lumpur Mid Valley. So if you happen to be outstation, this is a great chance where we can catch up a bit and talk more about your aspiration in here. And I'd like to see all of you too, especially Nora, on our Invest Fair on the 22nd and 23rd. Do let us know if you are coming. And uh, I'll be speaking on the 23rd of June, which is on Sunday, 11 a.m. Uh, at the engagement stage in here and our boot will be at 103. It will be quite an interesting day and we will also showcase to you some of our trading bots that uh, Smart Roby is currently being trained to do that. It's definitely one of our more uh, likely new venture that we're going on and uh, which eventually will be very beneficial to many of our members. All right. So at, uh, in this session in here, we're going to talk more about the KLCI, right? The KLCI right now, it's still pretty much in the stage three uh, distribution unchanged from last Friday. And we will expecting if we do break down at the 1600 level, which we'll see in the next slide in here, then that will be the markdown. So we want to look for SOW, but right now we don't see any of the sign of weakness. Matter of fact, they're seeing some sign of strength. And one of the key things we do use from here is our Pentagon Guider, which use uh, the timing effort looking also at the insider buying and selling, right? And especially those of you who are inexperienced, the VC360 does give you a little bit more work, uh, a little bit more edge compared to others. So find out how you become a member. Now, uh, one of the things thing that we do on VSA360 to allow a member to learn faster is to follow trade and practice with the speaker like myself. And every Monday, we'll pick some of those stocks and you can see the last uh, three months when we decided to start our CV3 together with our members. As a matter of fact, members are doing much, much better than me. You can see the monthly return is about 12%, 9%. And for the month of uh, May, it's 1.65 reason why we haven't closed some of those trades and we will see month to month as we go on so this is definitely a new segment where all our members as well those of you who can learn and uh, uh, some of the mistakes that I made and you learn from me so you don't make sure you don't repeat them and of course the VSA 360 has all the additional features that really uh, help our, our members now you can also explore VSA 360 for the virtual trading room right and the uh, broadcast will normally that we do on Monday and Friday for education purposes. So right now the VC360 come with the insider buying and selling as many of you seen in here. Now definitely uh, something that really scares me uh, what I do see a little bit of reminiscence of the rubber glove stock in 2022 which is not too long ago, just two years ago, where a lot of stocks started to go up. And then uh, you have media like this, like the uh, Starbase talk about how much you gain. And definitely you can see from here, uh, property stocks has already turned red Pentagon. That's something we all know. And uh, going back to where we have here, uh, this news article talk about how uh, the Ministry of uh, Housing and Local Government, uh, uh, Minister uh, Nga Kok Ming. They talk about how well property has done so. And uh, many of the stocks going back to in January 2023 to June, which is one and a half year, has gone up by a triple digit, 100%. Uh, SP Satir, Eastern and DPS is 600%. UEM Sunrise is 300%. Crescendo, 
Avaland, Masing, all this has, has stood up. As a matter of fact, many of these actually started to move. And that's what I talked about last week. And another wave they are talking about is the data center. How many data centers can they need and how much is the kind of demand? Again, look back to the lesson learned uh, during the rubber glove stock. Reason is because if you are going to be buying the longer term in property, right and you want to buy and hold and i do found out that some members still holding up to the rubber glove stock which they bought very, very high and the same thing may happen to you if you don't have a trading strategy especially if you're going to be looking at some of the properties some of these stocks may not uh deserve the kind of uh what do i say uh, valuation it is and usually when you have this kind of good news uh, uh, compared to uh, something that we experienced before in the rubber glove you have to be very careful again uh, smart money you this pretends to distribute under the disguise of good news I think many of you would have known about this and that's why it's my job to you know inform you that this kind of uh, thing do happen to a lot of unsuspected uh, beginner in here where the smart money their design is to trick you and at least we have the green pentagon red pentagon allows you to time yourself much better in such pretense so let's take a look at the, this morning for the vsa 360 where we are uh, five things you need to know all right so yep here we are so this morning uh, we're going to go on to our dashboard yep and the market is up six point which is very good still in red pentagon we can see uh, it has to take out, we get to get a bit more volume coming in, right? Uh, this market was good, but you have this up trust, right? The market didn't follow through, so that's definitely one good. But one of the really surprise is our contender, our virtual trade, Mr. James, and which usually follow us and listen, he is up. 48 percent since march 7 you can see uh Yi was the contender but i think he started to trade more and uh i myself is at number uh i think number five sukumaran even tong all this has moved much better than me as they started trade even with the trading bots which something we'll talk about and debut on the uh on the invest fair uh, are doing pretty well we can see that they are catching up to and these are all sort of you know can trade on their own again in the virtual trade environment in here we are definitely testing it out and see how well they'll perform against the our members and definitely so far they are doing much better in here uh, with our autonomous or semi-autonomous whichever number you call that they are smart roby and in terms of the foreign fund flows they are coming in nicely in here uh, as soon as they decided to sell that's where we saw the market drop and they decided to come back in which is a good thing just take note and every time when they have a peak close to about 500 million the 474 uh, level there that's where you see the market will turn all right i've seen this before and this is one of the conditions i think members and also the public should know about it and uh, construction continue to be the forefront and then you have technology utilities uh, uh logistic property and the back end of it is uh, healthcare but healthcare are coming back okay later on we'll check out the uh the uh, sector in here so let's take a look at the uh, sector so you can see from here sector technology has turned red pentagon okay and but it's continued to rise up uh then you have the i was going to talk about healthcare let's take a look at healthcare if i can find it here yeah kl healthcare right so healthcare since then has plunge and this was this big spike i think we all know right was the u.s china sanction on the rubber glove and also at that time we did talk about getting out on supermax remember we have a segment on that on our live facebook i did discuss about the rubber glove so, so a lot of these are more continuation of the discussion that we talk about on our wednesday so you can see with our red pentagon you are able to exit out uh early on worst case even on the climatic volume it's time to Chabot, ah, chabot, chabot, chabot. So finance started to turn green Pentagon. That's also aligned with the overall KLCI. And if the KLCI were to go higher, you will have the finance moving up too. All right. So that's where we are. Today, everything is green. You can see the heat map turning green. That's very nice. Uh, what else we're going to go for? So we're going to go on to the uh, alert center. Lots are turning green. Tengaga is turning green. FFB turning green. B Auto, D Sonic. Gunni Gunting turning red pentagon, right? Uh, ATNS, these are some of the old ones. So this is something that you want to check out every day as you go in. Maybank, Barometer, these are the uh, alert under the screener watch list. We do have another watch list here. 
uh, which is the latest one is the RHB uh, 2024. Okay, let's take a look this morning here. Uh, the RHB 2024, yes. Some of these have started to turn green. You can see CJ uh, Sand has turned green. So that's the one you might want to uh, look into it. Uh, this is the one, 2024 here. Uh, we will see some of these CJ uh, Homer reads, which on the 25th is a growth stocks, yeah, which is here turned red. But uh, it did get a 6% from the last time when it turned green Pentagon, but it has started to turn red Pentagon right now. So it actually monitored it for you in this manner here. So make sure you check it out, uh, the, the level that we have here. Okay, so any questions, do pop it up on the uh, our site here. Let us know. All right, and now uh, where else we gonna do do next? Okay, so we done that one. Let's take a look at the alert center. Yeah, we pretty much have that already. So um, where is the market right now? I'm getting a schematic just to let you know uh, where we are right now. We are sort of like in a partial stage four, but we were looking for sign of weakness. We didn't see any sign of weakness. Matter of fact, the market turned back up. Just look on. So you need to know why is this? Because I want to train the members and those of you who's listening uh, with us every every week following it. You want to see the left hand side, which is here. This is the what we call the background, whether it's which stage is it coming to, stage two, stage three, stage four, and then you have this up move. So you can anticipate the market as it goes on. So it's no uh, no surprises you know, that we are able to predict the market very, very closely. And of course, those of you who are able to read the chart, this will definitely help you more. But right now, if the market were to break lower, uh, 1600, that will be a stage four, but we are seeing likely to move to a stage two. Uh, this is where we are so you can see from here going to the chart this is where we are right and uh, if you draw the, the the chart we have this is like the beginning of stage four but they they couldn't go through the 16600 level here so now we await the green pentagon it will likely retest back the old peak uh just now we have seen the market going back to the dashboard uh 1621 okay 1621 uh, and uh, major support is 1600 so that's where you want to be supporting so the market will really move up from here all right and now uh, let's look at the uh the advanced screener okay the advanced screener for our vsc 360 something we want to showcase so you can see from here uh last week we were looking at the uh, 30th of may okay super long open seas and and you can see that super long has gone up nine percent so from the, this was at the 30th so from the 30th to 6th of june up nine percent open this is the one that came down i think we got up four percent five percent uh 22 percent for tech next do we have tax next previously uh in tech or oh, we didn't scroll down so we have in tech here five percent so as i said before it doesn't work all the time and uh, if we do have a nice pullback like what we see, the KLCI moving up. And of course, if this week would be a breakdown in the stage four, then you'll see a lot of this stock go down. So that's why we need to emphasize risk management. If the stage go up, let the profit run. And then generally in an up moving market, you'll see more stock going higher. And that's how you want to be able to benefit from this in here. Okay, so pretty simple. So this week, uh, these are the one and if you want to you can take a photo of this because next week we're going to come back and check out this uh, check out scomnet smrt nct hua yang which is a property so uh, property of course we have seen right early on we uh, some of these have started to move up let's see it will still have a leg more kick to go make so make sure you have green pentagon so use the vsa 360 those of you have mud uh, have some money left and you want to trade on this insider buying and selling last week all right last week we have SCIB so immediately you can see once the buying come up the selling stops and it started to turn up that's how powerful the insider buying in and uh, we have a stock adjustment for Seng Fong because they have a bonus three to one so the market did uh, although it has a red pen gone once we adjusted this right the market will turn back up because the price adjustment uh, has to be done by our team so this week insider buying we are looking at the LHI immediately you could see call to buy call to buy right at the bottom a lot of buying market turn back up and we just see a lot of buying like this that's really you know a telltale sign that this market's ready to go higher for LHI right uh, let's see if the market can go higher now we have Lagenda we all know Lagenda was involved in some sort of uh, 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 
money laundry land transaction where macc came down came back up but guess what the owner was buying so check this one out in here again it is in the property sector so this is one of the lagger but do take note if the market to break lower you want to chop out but if they could not find anything out from macc this stock is going to move up higher from here insider are buying so an update for our members, which has always been the uh, show, the VSA 360 show and the educational series we've been created is to help our member doing well. We can see May Fun was the uh, series two winner and we have Yi and also right now, James, he seems to be leading uh, the forefront. You can see Yi was 36%, but we have a new contender, James, that came in uh, up for 46% in here. Cool. Tong and I'm at number seven. You can see my fellow members, the the, the who attended our class, are doing much much better than me. So here are the returns which I flashed with you already, and and also this time I'm going to share with you the number of trades that we make. How many trades do we do? We don't do a lot. Seven trades in March, six trade, eight trade in May, and that way you're able to you know uh, see through it what kind of trade that we are doing. We don't buy and hold. We we trade in and trade out. Just take note. That's why it's called the Pony Express. Okay, uh, check out our monthly guide performance result on our website in here and this portfolio hopefully we like to see continue to go higher all right so where are all member located for the scoreboard tradevsa.com slash scoreboard okay let me move to the site you can check it out in here and uh always been my aspiration as the speaker here to guide our member to follow the total trading model where they are efficient enough sufficient enough and proficient enough to be profitable trader and don't forget join me on the 23rd of june for the uh, smart roby in here great review and love to hear your feedback so any stocks that you want me to look on let me know all right i'm happy to you know check it out for you all right if there's no stock thank you for coming and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for all our trades and also and our telegram channel in here that's all we have and good and live trading in here oh we have uh cool cool want me to look at uh what stock is this uh a west uh? barn west is it uh, okay let's take a look at barn west okay barn west just turned green pentagon looks good because of the red danger zone here see he hasn't gone up yet right this is a nice one i think it has a lot of room to go up a nice pullback remember one two three pullback up but today is up four percent in here so in between the day i think that's a good one all right a lot of these stocks you can pick it up here real time you can uh this stock you can see all because of the nine o'clock uh, usually the first nine o'clock the fellow will push up <laughs> okay all right, thanks for coming and uh, do spread the good word around of our Telegram chat room in here for the dot me at tradebsa.idea. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.